Welcome back to Smosh Mouth. I'm Shane. And I am Amanda. And we have a very special guest here. Today, it is Trevor. Trevor is here. I wanted to say Trevor Noah, but that's not true. No, that's not you. No. (laughs) We do get mistaken a lot, though. (laughs) I bet. Trevor, uh, you're back again. Uh, This is your second time. The first time was, uh, you know, we were welcoming you to Smosh. Mm -hmm. Now you've been here for a minute. Yeah. For a little bit. Yeah, for a little bit. How do you feel? I feel great. I mean, I'm loving it. It's great. I just, okay. you know, it's a whole new world. Yeah, you're living on the edge of your seat. Solid. Yeah. Solid. Anyway. What do you think of everyone here at Smosh? They're cool. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just as cool as when I knew them before, if not cooler. It's no different. It, things aren't any different. No. No, it is nice to get to know people more, though. Yeah. You know, sure. Because that time. changes, definitely. Right after this, you're going to go film a Try Not to Laugh, right? No. You're not no. in that? No, I was supposed to be, but now I'm not. Uh-oh. I'm not funny enough, is what they said. Oh, you're right. Yeah. They did no, say that. I was in that meeting. Yeah, there was a scheduling conflict. They were like, "Should Trevor do it?" And we were all like, "No." No. Yeah, they no. put me in one, and then they're like, "Maybe that's not cut out for those." <laughs> not true. Um, well, not today, true. today we're talking about Smosh lore. So you know, you're new here, ish. Okay. So we're going to give you a little bit of a lesson, a little history lesson. Okay. On Smosh Pit, I'm going to focus mostly on Smosh Pit because I was going through. And I realized how much stuff there is. Mm. I was like, maybe I'll cover all of it. No, there's way too many things. So I'm going to cover Smosh Pit. I'm going to cover it up to like bef- right before Amanda got here. Okay. Yeah, so I am yeah. i don't know. Well, it's funny. I actually, on stream recently, I took a quiz online that was like Smosh quiz. And I just went, it was like on Kahoot or something. Okay. What? And I went and took it. I got like none of them right. Oh, it it's, like, all... it's like a quiz on... Yeah. Oh, about it's, Smosh. It's not like which Smosh member are you. This no. is like an actual quiz. This is an actual quiz. Like, uh, what quiz were some about, of the questions? I don't know. A lot of them were about Pit, like old shows, like something about like Ian on the weekend. I don't know. It's some okay. weird stuff. Ian on the weekend. There was like Ian's Ian something. Ian's weekend. There was some show that was called that. Okay. Um, yeah, but there was just like a lot of stuff that I was like, I have no idea. I want to take this quiz. It was weird. Well, you should take it after this episode, and you're going to know. Yeah, because no there's a lot of lore that I don't fully know. Because, you know, to be honest, I, I mean, everyone knows this. I didn't fully know Smosh at all before mm-hmm. I got here. Yeah. 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 We're going to dive back. We're going to go back from the beginning. We're going to catch up to here. I'm curious. Back, like, in the years where I was here, Okay. what types of, what types of things do you think we were doing? What types of shows do you think we had on Smosh Pit? Uh, I feel like they were more um, focused on you guys, like your personalities. Okay. Like a Shane show, a Damien show, a Noah and Heath show, okay. an Ian show. I feel like it was more focused on your personalities rather than oh. an ensemble show, which is what I feel like Pit is now. Okay. So you haven't, just to be clear, and I don't, I don't, there's no problem with this because the, it was a very different channel back then. You haven't scrolled back and watched old videos from like 2015 to 20. I think I might have a couple. Yeah, yeah. definitely. It's interesting. Not to do. much though. I don't do it too often either. I get served on Twitter. Sometimes I'll get served an old clip, and I'll be like, "Whoa!" But our fans even don't even bring up a lot of super old content too often. No, I've definitely mm-hmm. looked. I've definitely looked at some of them for sure. Yeah, and been like, "Oh my god, you guys are babies!" It's so yeah. trippy to look babies. back. Babies. It's so trippy to look back and. You guys are see. literal babies. Yeah. You should have seen me in 2015. Did you look like a little? You were baby? actually a baby. I was 15 years old. Oh my god. Stop. I was born in 1999. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, Get the f- out I of was, here. Yeah. Really? No, no I, way. That was like, you I were, hit puberty late. Wait a second. Too, so you were not like 15 when you were 2015. Yeah, I was born in July of 1999. So for half of 2015, I was tw- I was 15 years old. That's crazy. Oh hey, hey. That's crazy. That makes me feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> I feel very sick. Um, uh, I met my husband at that age. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Your relationship is as old as Trevor, basically. I, um, <laughs> uh, so 2015 was when I was hired. Okay. I was about to turn 24, so I was younger. I 2015, 2016, I think I look older than I do now in some way. Not, not. I know I look older now, but like, there's something about the just my demeanor when I look back on old videos from mm-hmm. from specifically those years where I'm just like, oh man, I was burnt out. Really? Not yeah. from Smosh. I was like burnt out going into Smosh. 
and just my life. And then 2017, it's like I started to become who I am. Mm. It's interesting. Mm. All right, let's dive in, shall we? Yeah. So I've broken this up into different time periods, and I the first one is the the before times. It's before I was there. Okay. So Smosh Pit. You do you know what it originally was? It was originally Smosh. So it was originally E and H, and it was Ian's channel. Those that was one of the questions on e the quiz that I took. And H. Ian, Ian Hecox. It was Ian H. H. So it was it was his channel, and it was just him doing whatever. It was, the main thing was called Ian was Ian is bored, and they'd be like five minute videos of him just like being like today I'm gonna wash my guinea pig. And he had a pet guinea pig, and he would he would like give it a bath in the sink, and that was all that it was. Wow! It was just just that stuff. And then it, wow. over time, they would do like uh, it would be Ian and Anthony. So it eventually turned into Smosh's board, and it'd be them both hanging out. Um, and they would do like lunchtime with Smosh, uh, mail time with Smosh, where they would open up fan mail, uh, stuff like that. So very just like as you said, very personal content, just kind of vlogs. Mm -hmm. There wasn't like here's there here's this video idea. It was just like hey, we're hanging out and it we're was to eating. Get to know them. We're eating lunch and we'll answer questions from our fans. Like it was a lot of that. Um, that was like big on YouTube at the time. Oh, like, that's when it was. YouTube was people sitting in front of they cameras wanted in to their see rooms. people. It was yeah. vlog content was huge, and yeah. you know at that time Smosh, the main channel was enormous. This was when it was like the number one channel. Mm -hmm. um, wow. And so Smosh second channel was truly just like a second channel where they would just kind of upload whatever. They weren't really putting in the, I don't mean this in a bad way, they weren't putting in the effort that we're putting in now because that, that was the whole point of it was that it was just like. Well, we're up against so many other They're things. filming themselves in these videos, just kind of casually doing it. I need to watch these videos. Oh, they're fun. Talk about someone being a baby, like watching Ian from back then. It's shocking. Um in some ways, he looks exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. he looks so. Different. I've seen what he looks like back in the day. He does, um, look, but he looks different. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then back eventually, there. eventually, they brought on Mari, and they did Smosh Pit Weekly, and that was a show that she did entirely by herself, but uploaded it onto the second channel, and that was like a news show, <gasps> like a clip news show where they would talk about what's going on every week. So it, Smosh Pit had a very different vibe, kind of like what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah, I in guess. In a different way. In a very different way. If you watched it, you'd be like, oh, this is such a different thing. Uh, but it was good. And um, but it was a different vibe back then. But that's not what we're going to talk about since I don't have personal experience. We'll have Ian come on at some point and delve oh, into boy. that. But what we're really starting here is 2015 when the squad was hired. This is the Defy the era. The squad. Oh. oh the, so, the squad. So yeah. Hey, look. <laughs> Huh. What, what are that's we? what we were called. We were yeah. called the Smosh Squad. Yeah. Uh, Courtney, we're, we yeah, were the you guys stars. are not. <laughs> they were called the not. Squad, and it's like, let's get the stars in. Yeah. Trevor, Amanda, <laughs> yeah. let's here. get the cool people. <laughs> <laughs> um, we didn't initially call ourselves the Squad, but you know, the five of us were hired full time, and there wasn't much for us to do, so we're just hanging out. Um, th the first like year, really, we didn't have like shows or anything. We would occasionally post like a vlog, like or just be involved in some videos. Um, that was also every blank ever had just started when I got hired. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And for those listening who don't know what that is, because it ended, uh, like I did EBs. You did every blank ever. So we call them EBEs. Uh, they were our list video shows where we'd be like every Target ever, and it, we would just yeah. do a bunch of Target jokes, mm -hmm. little little one offs. But that had just started when I joined, and. So that was the main stuff I was doing on the main channel, and we would fly up to Sacramento to film wow. everything that went on that channel. So every other every other week, we were going to Sacramento for a few days. I do know this. It was crazy, okay. and we would sleep at the old Smosh house. And they'd all sleep in one bed. <laughs> yeah, basically. No, we all had air mattresses. That's crazy. Yeah. Wait, the five. You said the five. Keith, Who? Noah, Courtney, Olivia, myself. Okay. It was us five. Okay. We were the the first people um, uh, on for the Smosh Pit channel. They hired us to also be in sketches and stuff. They hadn't done that at that point, mm -hmm. and so um, yeah, it was us five. But we would do that, and then when we weren't in Sacramento, we were in Beverly Hills uh, at the the Defy office. Oh wow. God! Uh, in wow. this this very very corporate office building, mm -hmm. trying to film content trying to film vines trying to we would literally 
a lot of days it would be like, what do we do? And they'd be like, film vines. And there's some that kind of popped off. Like there's the the white people faces one that Courtney and I are still like known for. Um, there's some actually iconic memes that have come from old Smosh content that we were in. There's that, and there's also the Keith. There's the Keith. There's the Keith masturbating meme that is a very famous meme. Awesome. It circulates all the time. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, and that's from an Every Haven't Blank ever. I haven't seen that. That's yeah. crazy. Uh, yeah, you never awesome. guess. That's like, what is Every Blank ever's legacy? <laughs> the Keith meme. Yeah. Uh, so we had all of that stuff. Um, and then... Uh, so eventually, they started to need to make shows for us, right? They were like, we need to create some new content. Yeah. They started kind of putting the, the squad, as we started to call ourselves, um, uh, mainly on the Pit channel. Because uh, Ian and Anthony were super busy. Mm-hmm. This is before Anthony left. This is, this is still that era. So they were like, let's start making shows for them and have that go. And so the first one that I recall, the first two, one was Put It In My Mouth with with Noah. What's happening mm. here? Mm. Uh, that's what it was called. <laughs> Good thing the stars weren't there yet because yeah. we wouldn't have said yes to that. I am so s- true. I am so curious how you would have reacted to so much of the content we made then. So that was Noah's show and he would have a he would have a guest on every time and they would eat a bunch of horrible shit. Oh wow. It was eat it or eat it except there's no hope. <laughs> uh, oh my awful God. shit. God. Um, brutal. Yeah, and I was on a couple episodes and it was always devastating. Uh, it had truly one of the worst things, the worst smell I've ever I've ever endured. One of the episodes, they brought on uh, this fermented fish from I think it's like Iceland. Oh, oh, Sweden. It's called um, it's called Sir Strumming. Yes, yes. Sir Strumming. and it was uh, the worst smell. I've ever endured in my life. It is the most diabolical smelling thing ever. I had to open a can of it for for Mythical one I time. I did too. I oh, I had to go out to the parking lot. I refused to open it indoors because if you open we, it We we did inside, it outside. We okay, did yeah. this episode outside. Yeah, it's awful. What what does it taste like? Uh pickled herring. Oh. It doesn't even taste that bad. It, the smell though is The smell is really horrendous. It's awful. Yeah. It is it is a nightmare. Mm-hmm. Um, but Noah did that show for a long time. A long time. He did that he did that show a long time before we ever did it or eat it or eat it. Wow. Noah has endured so much gross food. It's wild. <laughs> um, but it had its own set, it had its right. own theme, it had everything. And I, I throw a little joke about it in his, Noah's funeral because the beginning of that show, like in the like opening sequence, he'd be like, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> it was the dumbest thing. So in Noah's funeral, before I went up, because I was playing Noah, I turned to Keith and I whispered, I just go, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> and I it got Keith so bad. Uh, the other show was Olivia and Courtney's show, Seriously Super Stupid Sleepover. That sounds awesome. That sounds great. See the stars. We would have yeah, been to that. The yeah. stars. Uh, I would have probably signed the contract for that show. Yeah. yeah. Um. That show was ridiculous. Um. It was good. It's just like it was very much that era where it was like, okay, the girls. What are they? What's their gonna? Sh- what's their show gonna? Pink be? pillows mm-hmm. and fights and boys and Quite bones literally. and like... masturbating. Wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't talk about that. Knowing. <laughs> Courtney now, like picturing her in that type of content is so funny. Like it just was like so pigeonholed into like your girls and your girls. <laughs> yeah. Um, we had Logan Paul was a guest on that show on the sleepover. Oh on the sleepover, God. what did he do? Uh, they just they we would just do different types of little challenges or stupid things. Um, I think Jake Paul did an episode, but the episode was like so weird, and he said such weird shit that they like didn't air it. Ugh. He was um, like, yeah. you girls want to die tonight? <laughs> like, yeah, that's, um, that's funny. Go outside um, and scare a bear. But our, no, our live show we did a, um, like a little over a year ago last summer was was based on sleepover. I know, I wasn't it was there. a sleepover live show. Oh, you weren't in that. I was getting mm, married. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What, so wait, what were you doing in, in the 2015 Yeah, what were you doing in 2015 What were you up to? Um, I was doing Vines. I was heavily into Groundlings. You were doing Vines. Yep. I didn't realize you were doing Vines with Steph Barkley. That's right. You did tell me that. That's how I met Steph. So I was doing Vines, and I was auditioning, and I was deep into the Groundlings program. Nice. And then I had an every Friday show in Sherman Oaks at a really rundown theater. 
Hell yeah. We put together an entire improv slash sketch show, our own show every Friday. And we had um, my sister and her husband would come and then we had three uh, regulars and that's about it. And they, the two women would read novels in the front and their boyfriends would sit (laughs) on the other side and drink beer. That's I'm, awesome. That's I'm not great. kidding. It was every time. And the women hated me. Sure. And the men loved me. And the women loved the guys on my troop. <laughs> and the guy on my troop is still my best friend to this day. He married my husband and I. So there you go. He awesome. was lit. But we. I, and, and the two women reading the books attended your wedding. <laughs> no. <laughs> and they hated you. No, they did not. And they were the type that would get like McDonald's yep. and sit in the front. And the seats were shit, and we we like curated a whole show, and they were just, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> and they're like, I don't like her. No, I don't like her either. Love that, but oh, they kept coming. Hot. They came. They showed your every support. time. They showed your support. So I was just <laughs> performing as much as I could. Um, it's great. Yeah. Uh, the last thing I'll say about s- sleepover, seriously, super stupid sleepover, was it was the birth of my first character on Smosh, which was Courtney freaking Miller. Oh. oh. Came from that show. A lot of people have heard this story, but basically uh, what happened was Courtney was sick one day. They needed to film this show, and they were like, Shane, do you want to co-host it with Olivia instead? And I go, sure. Um, do we have, like, a blonde wig? Like, And they're like, uh, yeah, we can find one. I'm like, I'm just going to be Courtney, <laughs> and we won't address it. And and so I put on this wig, and I'm sitting there, and it kind of was like a little bit more of like a Rod Stewart like <laughs> rocker. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, okay, so this looks nothing like Courtney's hair, but whatever. It looks kind of hardcore. And then we had some guests. They were from Clever uh, Clever TV. These like entertainment hosts. So they're not like comedians. They're like mm. uh, they're they interview people on the red carpets and stuff. So it's Olivia, those two, and then they're introducing themselves at the beginning, and it gets to me. And I just, I'm like, what do I do? What, 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 what should <laughs> oh I do? Oh my god! I decided to be as aggressive as humanly possible. So it gets to, it's like, hey, I'm Olivia. I'm, I'm Aaron. I'm Jocelyn. And it gets to me, and I just go, I'm Courtney Miller. <laughs> and I was just like, I was just like in it. I was just, I was like, what if I just was a wrestler and I just was angry? About oh my everything? god, I love this. So I just went for it, and then it was stupid. And we just kind of kept going with it. And so every time I got the chance, I would just be like, I'm going to put on that wig and just be Courtney. Free. I love yeah, that. That's so, great. This yeah. show actually sounds f***ing awesome. It sounds like an Amanda Bynes. So it was just a variety with... show. A lot of our shows back then were just variety shows. Mm-hmm. But I love the sleepover aspect yeah. because it's very nostalgic. Um, and then our other thing we did was squad vlogs. So we would do vlogs, but we would call them squad vlogs. So it'd be the five of us. We would go out places. We would go do things. Our the first video we ever had that was like a hit is we got pole dancing lessons. That's awesome. The yeah. star, the, the stars. stars would be into We'd that. No, I and, and in fact, you guys aren't gonna believe this. I was pretty good. I can believe it. You I believe have it. Thighs yeah. that could murder a th- <laughs> truck. Yeah. You could crush well, a well, truck. So you in could your thighs. be Optimus Prime. Literally, <laughs> of course, you can hang on to a pole. I I didn't realize because I knew nothing about uh, pole dancing that the poles spin on their own, mm-hmm. or they have the ability to. <laughs> I didn't know that. So I get there and I realize that I'm like these spin on their own. I was like, oh hell yeah! All I have to do is hold on. So yeah, I was I was going nuts on those things. <laughs> it was awesome. Pull up the footage. Oh, I we need can to show speak. some footage. We'll show a clip. Show a clip of me going nuts on that. <laughs> Are you wearing heels? No, no. <laughs> oh well, then it's like not real. Clothes. It's we were, not. It's no, not, but uh, I actually I named my my my. Name stripper name. My stripper name was Lex Patron, <laughs> and then later on, Courtney's character Dominic Patron, and so I'm like, maybe they're related. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so can we get Lex to come out of her shell? And yeah, maybe. Oh my god! Yeah. Well, we should. I think we should do a pole dancing part two because it was so much fun and it's so stupid. That'd be awesome. I. <laughs> just the thought of me and like Angela <laughs> and you guys like you know who would crush his chance chance oh chance would destroy would he though I think so does he have thick thighs I, why do you need thick thighs to grip the pole you can grip oh are you're thighs. not going upside down well you can you can do whatever you want okay there's no rules what would your stripper name be we've got Lex Patron I, I was Lex Patron okay I forget what the other ones were I have no idea. I'd really have to think about that. You don't have yours just we'll try on to, deck? We should try to get that. Again. No, I don't. What's yours? What's Pipe yours? Johnson. 
Pipe Johnson. There, he well, made that's a comeback. because you're very good at names. Yeah, we Your know that. Pipe names. Johnson. Pipe Johnson. <laughs> the second time you've referenced Pipe Johnson. I've been trying to figure out who I want him to be. I, you know what, man? If you really workshop your characters and work on them and, and keep putting them out there, fans will will group around it. I got one I've been cooking be excited up. excited about it. I got one I've been cooking up. I yeah. found a, a, a pair of boxers while I was shopping at the mall recently, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, that's a character. Okay. Yeah. The pair of boxers? The pair of boxers. It's just, it's just the birth. It was like the seed, you know? The seed was planted in my mind, and I watered it with that with that character water, and it grew into a beautiful beautiful thing Is in my mind. Is the boxers going to be part of the character? Yeah. Pretty pretty crucial okay. part of the character. Wow. He's going to walk out on Try Not to Laugh holding a pair of boxers. He's like, my name's Eric. <laughs> That's going to be it. You want to see my dinghy? <laughs> my Stop spoiling it. My character's funny thing is he shows everyone his penis. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, All right. Good job. Me and you were okay, sitting no, there like, no, okay. shouldn't have egged him on. Oh, uh, yeah. That character water really Whoa. worked on that one. You burst it. Shut up. <laughs> no, they're like boxers, but they're not like really, bo- like they have pockets and stuff. Like I'd be wearing underwear underneath okay. them. Probably okay. like compression underwear, you know. Like, like Captain like, Underpants. Yeah. All right. Sort of like that. Very original. Um, <laughs> so we had squad vlogs and we would do all sorts of funny stuff like that. But eventually I got my own show. Oh. What do you think my show was? I'm curious. Shane. What do you think they saw in me and they were like, this is what we should base a show around him? Well, I don't want to be rude, but probably okay. like All right. uh, maybe something with weights mm-hmm. or <laughs> sports or some like crazy, like high energy, like, ah. Oh, okay. That last one, uh, you're, okay. the, the, that was involved a little bit. Okay, I hate you. So, okay, I'm sorry. Wait, let me think. Let me movie really reviews. Think. Oh, that would be sick. Oh, that would be cool. something. That'd be awesome. Mm. Something interviewee that you're like, yeah. No. Okay. No, so, yeah. riding roller coasters. No, I wish. Uh, we have done that. We've done that. Okay. Later on, uh, the show that I got was Smosh Lab where we did science experiments every episode. Uh, yeah, I remember being like, so I've, I'm have what i the science guy? Yeah. What? That's uh, what I think of when I see you. I'm like, that guy knows science. That guy's <laughs> smart as hell. Yeah. This is like Saved by the Bell, where like the hot blonde guy is like, you know science, right? Get in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so th- I, I, it was Smosh Lab, but it was co-hosted by an actual person who knew what they were doing. Uh, it was uh, Nick Uhas who, um, science guy, okay. and he was very smart. He knew all these science experiments. But, you know, he co-hosted it with me, but I'm like, what can I do? Like, I'm like, you're my co-host, but you're the science guy. I'm just here. Yeah, but you're the energy. I did have to bring you're, a lot of energy. You're the audience. I learned a lot. That's where I began, I began learning about hosting, and it was challenging because I had to host a show about something I didn't know anything about. Mm-hmm. And that was there was a lot of fun challenges that, and I do love science. I love science experiments, but I just, it, it was hard. Um, That's like me on Mythical Kitchen. Yeah. Because yeah, I know cause nothing. You you've I, never actually cooked. I don't know anything about life. cooking, so it's hard. You have a croissant tattooed on your arm. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. And, and milk eating, and cookies. He likes I, eating, though. I have a tiger tattooed on my arm, too. I've never been uh, a tiger. Look at the tiger. I've, I've never cooked a tiger I've never been a tiger. <laughs> um, but one cool experiment we got to do that I was stoked about was, you know, like that elephant toothpaste stuff? Yeah. No. So you, you mix a bunch of... Uh, Chemicals together. I'm about to tell you, Amanda. <laughs> well, you Keep don't know. Are you open. doing a bit? Bad. No, oh, I'm oh. not doing a bit. The, no, I know. You, you probably don't know about it because it's very much like a, it's a YouTube type experiment. You don't know about YouTube. And you don't know about YouTube. I'm 65 and I'm <laughs> no. grateful to be on this planet. <laughs> Amanda, you've definitely seen this before. Okay. You have a beaker. You f- you put a bunch of ingredients in it, and then it shoots up all this foam. Like it launches. It's imagine it's an elephant. Imagine drum. like you know those little volcano experiments people do yeah. when they're a kid. It, imagine that, but on cocaine, like uh, or on just every drug imaginable. Okay. It, it goes so yeah. far up, and we had a giant beaker that would like barely fit on this table, and we were outside. Whoa. We were outside at a parking lot in Hollywood. And so I got to dump in the like, the liquids and stuff. And I, it happens so fast that I pour it in, and it blasts up so fast that it it hits my forehead <laughs> and blasts up past me. It shoots like at least twenty to thirty feet in the air, 
Uh, it was nuts. I mean, it creates a gigantic pile. I remember some of the foam got on my my Adidas Superstars and it ruined them. No. Oh no, that that's sucks. So bummed, man. It's but so funny because that's part the exact of being a scientist thing that I think about when I hear like like any YouTube science show did that in 2015. Oh, it's yeah. like the first thing that when you say science show, that's the first thing that pops. Oh, this I never knew it was called elephant toothpaste. Yeah. I think that's what they call it. Yeah, because the way the whole thing about it is, it looks like big toothpaste, but it's like big and elephants. It's big are huge. and elephant. Oh, so I guess. So it's okay. like they need big toothpaste. What? We need to stop making fun of big, big people. <laughs> I'm sick of being called big. <laughs> and elephants are probably sick. How many times people are like, "You're big." I'm like, <laughs> "Big." <laughs> what about tall? You got some size to you. <laughs> You're a big girl. Come on. I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn. Oh, that's yeah. like sounds like just a seven year old. It's like an guy. old man. Yeah. You're a big girl. Get in there. I'm like, well, what the f? <laughs> Jesus. What the f <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, it happens. My that's... sister's the same height. It's been happening forever. Oh, God. So people used to call her the Jolly Green Giant. <laughs> At least I don't get that. Where did the green come from? <laughs> don't fucking know. <laughs> that's people are weird. They, yeah, they, they are. see a tall person and their brain just goes, ah, big. Their eyes look <laughs> in opposite directions <laughs> like, bang. Uh, big bird, big bird, jolly green giant, uh, 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 Goliath, oh, uh, elephant. Elephant toothpaste. <laughs> ah. No one's ever called me big guy. Oh. Big guy. If you want me to call it to you every hey, morning. Hey, I what gives? Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, what gives? What gives? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Anyways. Uh... The stars. The stars are here. Um, the stars are here. Um, he totally doesn't get it. <laughs> no, not Trevor. Even today. <laughs> Trevor. What is happening? Nothing. Don't worry just about for, it. Just for us. I'm getting just destroyed. For us Everyone's laughing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh. Honestly, though, what gives? What gives? <laughs> Continue. Do the show. <laughs> uh. <Okay>. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Listen, big guy. Let's go. All right, don't please don't. Oh, you don't you don't have. It's to. it's done. No, it's because I'm it, changing it, you in my phone as big, big guy. guy. No, that hey, big guy. Hey, tiny big little guy. guy. Okay, fun fact about Smosh Lab. There was a week, and it was not just Smosh Lab. It was a bunch of shows, like seriously, super stupid sleepover. But um, I had a week. We were filming a bunch of content, and on the Sunday night or Monday night. Just the beginning of that week, I uh, I went through a, a pretty bad breakup, mm. like a breakup of like years, and and it was like devastating, like one of those breakups where it's like, whew, like you're out of it, you don't sleep. Yep. And then I had Worse. to film like three to four episodes of Smosh Lab, <laughs> the, the like one of the next days. And you're like, come on, let's do the experience. <laughs> and I so what I did, I didn't tell anyone that I was going through a breakup. <laughs> I just was like, I can't. If yeah. I tell them, then I. I understand. I, I I can't have that reaction from people, and so I'm like, I'm gonna just not say anything about it and show up and just fully compartmentalize. And I get this. it. Yeah, and uh, it's healthy. I probably it do was the same it thing. was nuts, and it it was kind of almost crazy to me that I pulled it off, and I pulled it off until Thursday at lunch. I told Keith and Olivia. I was like, yeah, I went through a breakup this week, and they were like, oh my god, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> like we've been going through this whole week, and I had no idea. It was insane. Um, and then, uh, so yeah, uh, but you had to pull through. It's that, and there was a show back then, even more so than now. I do think we put on a lot more of a face on those shows. Mm -hmm. I think nowadays we're very genuine to a, yeah. to a large degree. We put in energy. We definitely put in effort, and it's like we're amped. But back then, it was truly like, yeah, like, <laughs> welcome to Smosh Lab. Like, it, that's how it felt to me sometimes. But I, I, if I was going through something really big, like I have before, I probably wouldn't say anything during the whole shoot week. Yeah. Because I think, but then again, sometimes I just see Angela in the morning and I'm like, hey, and I don't know what happens. It just fall apart. I know. Because then you can get it out. And you know how some people you can like get it out really quick and you can move on and then you can get through your day. Totally. Mm -hmm. Not all people are like they're like, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> and then I just didn't want to be treated differently, and I didn't want. I wanted to keep the vibe good. I care about the vibe on set. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so that was Smosh Lab. It didn't run that long. We just did like I think one season of it. Sounds fun. It was fun. Right. You're kind of doing that. With I had a great time. A little bit ish. Oh, I had a great time with it. Um. The show that also came about back then, because Sears Super Stupid Sleepover ended, they did they tried to do Woe Nature Show. So mm. 
here's when Smosh Pit actually got to a place where I thought it wasn't going to be around much longer. It was not getting good views around this time because we had put it in my mouth. We had uh, yeah. Whoa Nature Show. We had Smosh Lab. We were trying to do squad vlogs there. They tried to have a show for Keith called One Hour Song Machine. So they wanted a show of like every genre on one YouTube channel. Or every personality. That's and every personality. what I was thinking. It, you were kind of right, but that s- stretched this channel apart and mm-hmm. it was all so different that it wasn't getting good uh-huh. views because it wasn't like a consistent place. And it was it was like, what do you come to this channel for? There's just so much. They, they were putting, Defy was putting so much branding on this channel. They had a week where they were like, the whole point of this week is that we're gonna do more content. And where there's going to be more content on the channel. So what did they call this special week? Content week. They called it more on week. Because there's going to be, be more on Smosh Pit. More on. So more it, was, on. it was literally more on week. More on week. But they didn't, I swear to God, they didn't realize that. <laughs> Defy did not pitch it thinking that's funny. That's what we should do. More they were like on more week. on week. And so we were had to be there and be like, guys, it's more on week. And I'm like, how are we supposed to say this without sounding stupid as hell? It's more on week. And the whole point was just like, let's just work double time and put way more shit on it. And of more course it on week? It was insane. We that so much so much stuff like that happened at Defy where they just like pumped ridiculous, like, like, you know. We should bring that back. No. Yeah, we? we'll do a moron we No. But not extra content. We just like act stupider. We yeah. like, act it's like we're really dumb. That's actually funny. Yeah, because like boys go to Jupiter to get more stupider. Am I right? Dude, and girls go to I forget the other half. Get... to get more candy bars. No, what the knowledge. hell? Go, girls go to college to get more knowledge. That's boys right. Boys go to Jupiter to get more stupider. You just said girls go to Mars to get more candy bars. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Do you just call me big? <laughs> Whoa. Do you just call me big? Hey, what gives? Hey, what, what gives, big guy? What gives, man? Do you just call me big? <laughs> What gives big guy? Hey. What gives? Hey, what gives big guy? <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> oh, why I oughta. <laughs> why I oughta, man. You guys are terrible students. <laughs> so, eventually, it's 2017. That was when we finally did uh, Try Not to Laugh, I believe. Uh, yeah, it was first episode was in March of 2017. Wow. Um, but we did that and then didn't film the second episode. Or technically, it's on the for some reason on our playlist. It's listed the first episode is listed as number two. I forget what they did. I think Ian and Anthony did something years before, but so the first episode was in March 2017, and we did it, and it was great. It was a great time, and then we didn't do it again until November of that year. Weird. And then we didn't do the third episode till February of the following year. It didn't start to pick up as a series until 2018, hmm. and that's that's when Smosh Pit started to like blow up because oh, try not to their... laugh try not to laugh caught on and there was an episode we had juji mufu this bodybuilder come on I and he was one. to this day he's, he's arguably one of our best guests ever that try not to laugh got like 20 million views in what? like a very short amount of time it exploded it was that was when try not to laugh became this behemoth it was what our whole channel was based Whoa. on mm-hmm. and we used to film so much of it we film, we we have like a, a Try Not To Laugh every other week nowadays. We used to have it every yep. week. It was every week for a couple of years. So we yeah. would, and we, the way we would film them back then is we'd film like three in one day. So we would film an episode That's and so it was just us five. It was Keith, Noah, Olivia, Courtney, and I. So it would oh be God. us five doing three in a row. And honestly, there was something about how insane that was that it sometimes worked. But you also watch and you look back, and the jokes are not... I don't. They're think, inside jokes? There's a lot of inside jokes. I also don't think the jokes are as good, but we're so out of our minds that like it's yeah. funny for a different reason. I think yeah. nowadays the jokes are really, really like unique and there's more characters yeah. there's more stuff to try not to laugh nowadays back then it was truly like this is five friends who have no idea what they're doing well three back to three in a row and we were doing that all the that's time. too much we we're doing that all the time it, it, yeah. it makes your brain well yeah it's too much but also it makes your brain go dead so then like weird new stuff comes out yeah. of it yeah i love you know i love try not oh to laugh. Mm. try not to laugh's great it's like therapy it's really fun i'm glad it stuck around because <laughs> trevor no i'm so scared 
I get we, so a lot of guests refuse to come on. Tra- we, it's a hard show to get guests for because they're scared. It's it's a very I can imagine. It's every, very scary. Yeah, every single time I've done it, I, I'm hoping I get over it. Now that I'm here, I'm gonna be a lot more of them. Like I, but like genuinely, every time I've been on it, I'm I get so scared because I'm like I don't know if you I'm gonna. You, you have to just, care I don't know if I'm way funny. Oh, less. The, the less of a shit you give, <clears throat> the better it is. You have to care way less, and I I can imagine though it being a scary thing. Like I think mm. if you're, I don't know, like if. I don't know. Maybe my 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 brain is broken from like being yeah. pushed on stage so much. But like also, I don't plan, so therefore mm. that pressure is off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think it's the group of people that you do it with. I think now that we've done it so many times that we have such a safe space. So I think once you do it a lot more, yeah. you'll be less scared. Maybe I don't. F- no. No. You might be scared every time. I'm just gonna come on and go over. Be like, they told me not to care. They told me not to plan anything. <laughs> just completely bomb. I right. mean, there's some people great. who love to plan. Like people do really well when they plan. Me, yeah. I pl- no. I used to plan things. I still sometimes I'll I'll have jokes prepared. Um, I was gonna say the joke that really was the first time I felt like I took off with something at Smosh that I was like, whoa, that this I don't know what happened there. Um, I had this dumb joke that I had written in my phone, and I was like, the character was like a prank caller. But the whole joke was that he was calling pizza places and just letting him know that they're his favorite, and they would hang up, <laughs> but he would call different pizza places. So it's like, do they even, what, what this isn't a prank call. It was just this dumb joke. Yep. I didn't even know how to end it. So the, uh, the way I ended it was just literally picking up a phone, just being like, hello, uh, H- hello 911 I'm naked like that was literally how it, it was just such a like whatever and I do this joke I come out and I'm just like you're my favorite pizza place like I'm just doing this dumb thing for some reason that's the joke that caught on and our viewers were quoting it all the time it became we made like a shirt it was the first time I had ever said anything that became merch that we sold yeah and I remember just being like what the hell like but it, it also was around the time when try not to laugh kind of blew up uh, so that was that was crazy. It's for me. always un it's always unplanned. It's the stuff that you don't realize is gonna it's just the the throwaway things that end up catching up. I mean, the latest one I think is Courtney's I'm on my what? Yeah, like, I remember she just that. Kind of fucking threw that mm-hmm. stuff on, just goes out and quotes Super Nanny. Yep. And it's it's yeah. because Incredible. Chance and I walked out and we were like, Oh, it, it was a it was a Simon says we walked out and we we're like, Oh, did you see that neighbor with a fat ass? It's <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I saw that neighbor with a fat ass. And then Courtney came <laughs> out with a fat ass and then created this whole character mm-hmm. that was like, oh, my boy. Oh, and we were like, whoa. Yeah. And now it's legend. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I think that because it's a throwaway, it's genuine. Like, she genuinely thought of it. She didn't question it. She just did it. There's no way to actually plan a joke that that you know is going to be a hit. Mm-hmm. You have to just kind of keep doing you it. Can. And, and it just happens. And that's how I feel about the stupid another banger meme. Like when I made that, that I was know, such a throwaway. Like I just had that picture and I was like, I just need something to reply to Shane. And I made that in like two seconds. And then people like are still just spamming people it. People still, it's not gone to this day. Just and under I, your tweets. It's, it's nuts. Um, uh, love that. But yeah, try not to laugh. That was the birth of it was, was technically 2018. Wow. So it took a while. We we had years of Smosh Pit without Try Not to Laugh, where we were just kind of doing whatever, had all these shows, but they're not really recalled too much nowadays. We don't people don't talk about them, um, which I'm grateful for. I'm glad our fans love our current stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, but um there was one other thing I wanted to say that was really funny about that era, which uh was that we brought back Smosh Pit Weekly, that that news show. Yeah. But it was hosted by Damien and I. And we were just kind of doing some dumb bits here and there. It was like a teleprompter show. But because we had a teleprompter, we decided to do a thing that had been done before. But I feel like it's really big nowadays, which is where Damien and I would write each other's uh, segments. Oh, yeah. And we would try to just get through it. And we'd just write nonsense for each other. It would be called personal news. And be Mm. like, oh, just in my personal life, here's what's going on. (laughs) And then you just write insane stuff. Damien always won uh, because he's so good with just making... Yes. insane words yeah. and just making you say Makes them. Makes sense, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. He would say, he said something like, I'm training myself physically, mentally, uh, sexually, Jennifer Connelly. And I'm just like, <laughs> come on. Like, how am I supposed to fight that? Um, That's so good. That's good, yeah. But yeah. And then uh, we had a show that was very popular at the time called Day Jobs, which is where the squad would go out and we would do, we would try out doing other, 
doing jobs. So we went to like a donut shop and we learned how to make donuts. We did one where we did a food truck where we were we're trying to see how we could do in a food truck. Wow. Lifeguards for a day. It was really fun, but it was tasking because it would be like one video we'd shoot like in a day. Mm -hmm. Wait, that's so fun. It was really cool. Um, We even had one where we went to a daycare and we were like, here's how you take care of kids. Like it was so (laughs) nice. There's got to be legal implications to that. Well, it was was very much, no, this was very much like there was supervision and every, like we we were, everyone was safe. Like we were, we we didn't know what we were doing. My child's with a YouTube. No, we're being taught by professionals, <laughs> and um, but uh, it was really fun, and I, I think that's a show that I would love to bring back. That would be um, so yeah. fun. I'd love the, to be a lifeguard. The stars for a day. would be into that. The stars would totally sign that contract. S- yeah. Okay. Good. It. Yeah. Um, I hope though. we bring it back. That's just a show that's it's tasking. Like, there's a lot of stuff that I think our viewers are like, why don't they do this? Why don't they do this? And a lot of it's just that like it's hard. It takes mm-hmm. time. It's hard when it's stuff that you have to film outside because like you have to get the the paperwork to like film certain places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just tasking to go. Um, so then we had this Defy shut down. And then that everything went away for a few months, mm-hmm. and then we came back, and uh, that's when it was like, all right, we kind of kept doing the same thing, but we got to do it in a fresher way. We kept doing every blank ever's on the main channel as well as sketches and stuff. And then um, on the pit channel, though, that's when Eat It or Eat It started, yep. which we talked about that with Garrett about that whole yeah, process, how it was mm-hmm. how it was made. Um, that was also when we originally brought back where we made Smosh Cast. Yeah. Um, the first initial run. I did watch some of those of Smosh episodes. Cast. Yeah, and it's really interesting to see. And we would film it in the Ear Biscuits. Yeah, studio. we'd have to kind of like cover everything up to make oh it our God. own. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And so it was just this. It was just a very different vibe, though. And we would kind of cycle out hosts, and it it was a struggle. We were all learning how to do podcast type of stuff, and um, it was really interesting. It's so cool that Smosh just, you guys learned so much in yeah. Smosh. You learned how to host your own show and do all these things and yeah. do a podcast. I know. It's awesome. And we had a bunch of, that. Ba- back then was when Sarah Whittle okay. was running uh, the Pit Channel, mm-hmm. and so we had a lot of shows that were, that I look back and I'm like, that was so Sarah Whittle coded. Uh, we had Spelling Bikini Wax, where you're doing a spelling bee, but if you get it wrong, you get like you have you're covered. Your your waist, your body is covered. You're inside of a thing, and there's a person in there waxing you. And depending on your comfortability on where you want to be waxed, some people were like, "Can you can get in there?" What? Whoa! Yeah, I mean me, free waxing? No, you're getting them wrong on purpose. I would often no. be like my thigh. Like, wax my thighs, which still hurt like shit. Yeah, no. Um, so if you got something wrong, you'd get waxed. Oh my, my arm, God. my awful. arm hair. Um, Damien and I had Hacking Off. Uh, I'm sorry? It was a show called Hacking Off. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hello. I'm Damien sorry. Like Damien hacking and I, off. Damien and I would uh, find uh, life hacks on the internet, and we would try to improve them. Why was it called? Um... Hacking Off? Yeah. Because it's funny. Hacking Off. That's why. Why do you think it was called put it in my mouth? Like, I, <laughs> we I, love to go oh, sexual. I put oh. it in my Oh, it just Ew. It just <laughs> This is, a, this is a Christian channel. Get that this junk out of awful. here. Get that what um, gives? This is hideous. Yeah, what gives, what big gives? guy? <laughs> um Yeah. But we had that show. Um and then I mean this is starting to get into the territory, Amanda, where you you got back in because you know. Over time, we we were doing let's do this reunions. Yep. Uh, I funeral got in. interviewing exes and Google searches. That was and a lot of that was on the main channel. Yeah, I feel uh, like a lot of the things that but I that did was kind of like pit channel on the main channel. Yeah, they're not really. That was happening. where it all kind of happened. But um, anymore, those aren't really happening anymore. No, like, no. Let's do this. I loved that show. Google searches was so fun. Reunions, I was obsessed with funerals. Actually, something. Completely forgot to mention, uh, throughout all of these years, starting from when I first started, was Smosh Summer Games. Ooh. Oh, big yeah. thing, huge. Our fans love it. Uh, it was a big deal, big legacy behind it. So I'll go through uh, all of that, starting from the beginning. Um, Something I've never been a part of. You and haven't been. Either. You've never been a never. part of. I would of. own though. I'm so athletic. Okay. Yeah, me too. Okay. But uh, the first Summer Games, my first ever shoot on Smosh was Summer Games. I I signed my contract with Smosh. I I joined on my first my first day. 
They're like, we're filming in, in Santa Monica. And I was like, whoa, okay. I go to Santa Monica. They have this beach house, and they're filming right there on the beach. Hell yeah. All these games and stuff. And um, I, I, uh, because I was so new, I was the ref. They had already assigned the teams. Mm. It was team uh, Jiggle Physics, uh, Ian's team, and Banana Ramas was Anthony's team. Uh, and so these were like it, this. That initial summer games was still kind of like it hadn't found its full identity, but it was still big and crazy. And all the cast competed. It was split up into those teams. We were doing insane beach, you know, tournaments and competitions and stuff like big inflatable mm -hmm. uh, obstacle courses. Um, the we did like a game where it's like soccer, but you're in those giant, um, yeah, ball, like ball, balloon ball. balls, hamster Whoa, balls. Oh, I don't like all those sorts of stuff. Well, don't worry about it. We, you don't. You, did to... you ex nay that? No, we did it, and I got to even participate a little bit in that. And I was exhausted, mm -hmm. uh, but Anthony won that. The banana ramas were victorious. Um, good for them. It was a good one. It was a lot of fun. And then um, we did winter games uh, the following winter, or that that winter. Yeah, we did winter games. Uh, that was the snowflakes versus the uh, versus versus the blue balls. Who's coming up with these names? Uh, who? Ian and Anthony. Ian and Anthony probably the helping. blue balls. Blue balls. Oh my team blue God. balls. The stars uh, that, that had will to have been not Ian, submit surely. to that. Uh, so actually, Ian and Anthony didn't compete in the games in that one. They were so busy at the time. I also I feel like I can say this at this time. I think Anthony was a little like starting to be a little done. He's like, like blue balls, I signed like, off on it, go. Like, it's like, whatever, I don't want to be doing it. I, I don't know. Uh, we can have Anthony. I, I think he'd probably be like, this was, Ian and Anthony were were very much, you didn't see them too often back then. You know, they were very busy. Like, they were doing, actually, no, they were filming a movie. That was, they were they were filming their second movie. They were filming Ghostmates. Ghostmates. Oh, yeah. So, they were just actually pulled away. But, I think there's also an element of like, the two of them were going through a lot in relation to their viewpoint on Smosh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, blue balls won. Of course they did mm -hmm. because they were going through a lot and they never got to finish. Yeah. Ah! Um, I'm trying to remember that winter <laughs> games. Uh, winter games is, was very fun. You know, we all stayed in a cabin together and, uh, up in big bear and it was a great time. That's fun. Yeah. It's fun. But, uh, the following year, that's this next summer games was when I think it took the like a level up and it was like whoa this is huge and that was smosh summer games camp and it was all this like summer camp theme Ooh. and it was a blast uh it was team kumbaya's okay that's good versus that's better. The, versus, a good name but it was like yas queen like kumbaya's <laughs> which i which i was like a little like this is, okay i don't know yeah so? to be uh, to be honest i can say this now i was never a huge fan of that i kind of hated that name got it luckily i was on team harshmallows which uh, it's kind of whatever. No, I think the names. I, uh, hot take. I think all the names of the teams for summer games and winter games. I think they all sucked a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of my. That's kind of my hot take. Team sex by the lake at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> um, Teams go to bed. Turn off the lights. Camp time. But that that was really. It felt epic. It felt really fun. We all stayed at this this big like campsite place um, like fun. a summer camp place mm -hmm. and um, it was it was really cool and it it got heated like we had a big like uh, kickball tournament with a massive kickball and things things would get intense like there would be fights uh, like, like or, legit uh, fights where people are like yelling at each other we're upset like it's full on like MTV competition show at times whoa I'm so not kidding no who, people got people got mad who were the who were the people who were the maddest at each other uh so well the, <laughs> the issue is and I, I will throw myself in there is that Keith and I were the types we would try to piss people off. Like <laughs> I'm gonna be real honest. We were trash talkers. We did That's not hold me, back. For sure. Oh yeah. yeah. Um but we we trash talked a lot. Um, so who got the most mad? Everyone got mad. Spill the beans. I also got mad. Spill I also it. I also got mad. I was one of the people yelling in the the kickball. I'm not kidding. It was a lot of people. A lot of people were upset. Um, he doesn't want to name names. I'm not going to name names. But anyways, the Harshmellows won that. Nice. They won that okay. that summer games. Congratulations. Flex yeah. a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Congrats. Flex a little bit more, big guy. <laughs> um, we did winter games again. What gives? Uh, that what year. Gives? This was 2016. <laughs> Uh, I think this was the last winter games. We didn't. We only did two of them, um, and uh, it was the Spaghetti Yetis versus uh, the 
the the blizzards. I can't. I can't. Um, we need to go. Yeah, yeah. we gotta go. No, just and what sucks name, is name. what sucks is we made a shirt uh, for a team that wasn't a real team called the Snow Rombays. And we really oh! wanted we really wanted Snow Rombes to be. But a I don't get I don't get it. Do you know about Harambe? Are you Jesus okay? Christ? Sorry. No, I don't get it. Do you know? Okay, have you ever heard of Harambe? No. <laughs> You've never heard of Harambe? No. Okay, Amanda, I'm not I'm awesome. not gonna do the thing that I've done before. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm telling you the truth. Harambe was a gorilla at the Cincinnati Zoo. Okay. I can't believe I'm telling you. The story. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you've never heard of Harambe. Okay. He was a gorilla that was at I'm the. I'm from Massachusetts. He was at the know. Cincinnati Zoo. It's okay. It's yeah. okay. No, he was a gorilla at the Cincinnati Zoo. Are you lying? I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you a true story. You lie a lot. I'm not. I'm telling you a true story. Okay. Amanda. Okay. Okay. All right. Harambe. The truth. Harambe was a gorilla at the Cincinnati Zoo. I believe it was the Cincinnati Zoo. Yeah. Okay. And uh, a boy somehow snuck in and fell into the gorilla pit. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> and. The, the kid's in the gorilla pit. Harambe comes up. He's curious. He's looking at the kid. He's just kind of looking at him, whatever. And they they then shot Harambe. <laughs> it's it's sad. They shot Harambe and they killed him. Why are we laughing? I'm, la I'm laughing because this is an insane story that I've processed years ago. I remember the news, the, like the video and everything. And I was sad. I was like, damn. Like that's, why, I, why would they shoot him? He didn't want to do anything. He was probably talking to him. You're now... <laughs> Dealing with the trauma that everyone else dealt with years ago. <laughs> Why right. would they kill Harambe? I'm, I'm, well, because Harambe. They were worried that, I think they were worried that they were worried about him hurting the kid. If the kid fucking went in his home. Harambe deserved to live. <laughs> no, I, I know he did deserve I'm to gonna, live. I, is I, there I, a I, protest I, that I could go to? <laughs> <laughs> Amanda, Harambe deserved to live. Amanda, uh, 2024. You're, you're, is there a group I could join? I, I am so sorry that we're throwing you back into 2017 right now, or 2016, oh or whatever God. this happened. My heart is broken for Harambe. It sucks. It, dude, the amount of memes about Harambe, like Har Harambe in heaven, like people, you'll still, I want you to pay attention. How old is that kid now? I, I will find him. <laughs> He you're gonna avenge. To pay. You're gonna avenge Harambe. Yeah, I um, am. I am. Uh, no, people were very sad about Harambe. He's he's still. People know about Harambe. Mm -hmm. Well, this he's, is gonna like, take me days to process. I know. No, we've had years. I've had. Yeah. I, Amanda, this this happened eight years ago. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have nightmares. <laughs> For the rest of my work week, so thank you. <laughs> I, so thank you. I'm so sorry to bring, to bring the bad news about Harambe. <laughs> this is I awful. I can't school. believe this I was is in happening. a fun place and now I'm not. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. This is <laughs> awful. Podcast. This what is the podcast where we break like the breaking news, which is like Harambe <laughs> dying. Um, okay. What was the kid's name? I don't know the name of the yeah, kid. I'll find out. <clears throat> okay. So that happened. Spaghetti Yetis won oh, that winter oh, games. Um the following year, this the next the next summer games was a big one. This was 2017, and this was uh, right after Anthony left. Uh oh. Anthony leaves. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Anthony leaves around like I want to say it was like around spring or early summer uh, of 2017, and then we go into filming summer games, and we're like, we don't have Anthony. So what do we do? What's our team name? So we just <laughs> we just kind of go for it. Um, we didn't have team captains to make it easy. I think. Uh, but it was the I like the this was Smosh Summer Games Wild Western West. yeah yeah and this one we went all out like we were at a uh, um, a replica Western town in Las Vegas so cool and we were we had this whole place to ourselves it was crazy um, and it was the Randy Bandits versus the Cow Bays. Okay, Randy Bandits. Is Randy good. Bandits, Bandits is, is good. Cool. Cowboys. I know. We always did the like meme thing with it, which I was like, okay. Which it's funny at the time. You you do it and you're like, yeah. that's awesome. Like, but it that yeah. Randy uh uh Summer Summer Games Wild West has an insane promo like video, and I it, think I've seen it. And it has like a the budget was crazy. I think, and it was just insane. It just felt huge as we were yeah. doing it. Um, uh, Randy Bandits won. Good. That's also that was also the birth of Where's Anthony? Yeah, I remember that when we had Anthony on yeah. here, we were talking about that. Yeah, and he was not happy. Yeah, about no, uh, that. He, he was that was I, that was still early on. I think before he learned our vibe. Yeah, he was. He understand he, there's no there's no intensity coming in here. No, he doesn't have to fear. No, he doesn't. Um, I mean, he got slapped a lot. That's really him mm, getting yeah, into the vibe. No, he's he, there's nothing. He's to worry fine. About, uh, I did win an award 
for Summer Games Wild West. I got most epic moment, and I'm very <laughs> proud of it. Uh, what happened was we were playing uh, Hangman. I get a, uh, a five-letter word followed by a four-letter word. And these are all Western-themed <laughs> stuff. Mm -hmm. And we're sitting there. We haven't even guessed a letter yet. We've just started. And I'm sitting there, and I'm looking at this. I know it's five-letter word, four-letter word. And I'm sitting there, and our team is, like, consulting, like, what letter to guess first. And I go, guys, I think it's Wyatt Earp. And they're like, what? And I'm like, I think, I think, the, I think the, the, the thing up there is Wyatt Earp. And they're like, do we want to just guess, uh, guess it right off the bat without letters or anything? And I'm like, let's do it. And we do it, and we guess Wyatt Earp, and it was correct. And I'm like, what? that was awesome. And, I felt so cool. And who dunked? Yeah. Uh, I forget. I for what? I, I forget. I don't care about the punishment. I'm not looking for that. So you didn't care about Harambe? I cared about Harambe. Okay. You clearly didn't care about My Harambe. night is going to be even, on the web. I am going to surf the web. You're about like... to look up all... I, Amanda, you have so many Harambe memes to catch up on. Yes, yeah, You have so eight many. years worth of Harambe I am going to surf memes. the web. That Harambe could, God, could have had a see family. The video. the video is crazy. It's so sad. I will not. It's very sad. Uh, I, I, it's genuinely sad. Yeah. All right, moving on. So we didn't do winter games that year. Uh, we didn't. I don't think we found like a sponsor or something. Um, the budget just didn't work. Okay, so, so this now is we go. Sponsored. So usually, usually that's what, kind of what it hinged upon was we need because mm. it was expensive. We were doing a bunch of games. We'd yeah, do a bunch yeah, of Props. Yeah. We'd be on location. Following year, we didn't get a sponsor, which is why it was called Smosh Summer Games. We blew it, and it was all balloon theme. Uh, <laughs> the names for these are actually pretty good. Uh, inflatables, like bulls, like inflatable bulls. That one's weak. But the other one is Balloonatics. And Balloonatics is good. That's clever. Yeah, I want to get picked up by our limo now. <laughs> <laughs> this is not working yet. Um, oh, yeah. uh, the stars need to talk for a second. <laughs> that one we filmed like all of it in like a day or two at a park. And it was it was very low key compared to the rest. Aww. But some of the, the tournaments were fun. It was all these like big inflatable obstacle course stuff. But it was overall kind of one that gets forgotten a little bit. Yeah. The Balloonatics one. It was crazy. Of course they did. But then it was stacked that year. Yeah, yeah. stacked. Yeah. But then the last Summer Games was in 2019, and that was Summer Games Apocalypse, and hey. uh, which is kind of funny that we did Smash Summer Games Apocalypse before the pandemic happened, mm -hmm. uh, because that's and crazy. It really did feel like the apocalypse. But uh, it was the toxicity versus the mushroom clout. I think they were the worst names that we ever had. Yikes. I think they were, I think they were, looking back, I'm like, okay, we shouldn't have done it around meme types of words or, or like, you know, slang. We should have just really stuck to like, because Randy Bandits sticks out. I'm yeah. Like, yeah. Randy Bandits is great. Yeah. yeah. I'm curious, down below, comment what your favorite team name of all summer and winter games was. Yeah. Because I'm curious what people think. Because I, I think, I think most of them were kind of weak. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, Summer Games Apocalypse was the last time we did it. We filmed it out in the middle of a desert. It was hot as hell. Oh, my God. And um, But it was really fun. It was all apocalypse themed. We had a great time. Um, but but that was the last one. Uh, let's see. Toxicity won. Um, of course and, I did. Uh, I, yeah, did get, course. I did get voted least valuable player. <laughs> I sucked ass. Oh, wow. Um, Your heart wasn't awesome. in it. it, was, uh, it was, uh, yeah. Uh, we had a couple uh, things that kind of continued between each one. The biggest one, though, we'd have a big belly flop competition. And it was who could perform like the best belly flop. And you're legitimately trying to mess yourself up. <sighs> and it was really fun. I know. And you have to give like a, like a speech beforehand and then... And so you get judged by how epic your like speech was, and then your flop and the style and the the impact. It was very fun. Um, a lot of summer games was truly like some of my favorite memories here at Smosh. Yeah. That is really fun. So, yeah. Do you ever did you ever do that as a kid when you'd like dive in the pool and your mom would have to vote one out of ten? You guys ever no. do that? Mm -mm. I had a lot of diving sync synchronized swimming competitions in my mind and in my backyard. Wow, that's wow. awesome. Pretty sick, so I guess I'm geared up for this. Yeah, you're yeah. ready for for, for belly So, <clears throat> tell me more, like, are we gonna be in this? Uh, well, I don't know. Um, I think Summer Games is something that people have wanted us to do for a long time. Mm -hmm. I think people need to just keep clamoring for us to do it. Um, Bring it back. It would be a big, it's a big challenge. Are right? we doing it? 
I, I want it. I don't know. I don't have. I it want well. it. I want it. So I want to compete. I'm so competitive. Okay. Me too. Today, Smosh Summer Games. We find out today that we're doing it. You're. You have to draft a team. Who's your your first draft Ooh. pick? Number one. Ooh, first I round like number this. one draft pick. Okay, okay, I love this. Do we know the location in our minds? No, you know nothing. All you know is you got to put together a team. Love it. Both it's of you also, are captains. We're both captains. It would also be like dependent. It would be dependent too on like. Um, what the the theme of the games is? There's I don't know. There's a bunch that we haven't done. We haven't done like safari, tropical. So um, we can't choose each other, right? Medieval. Now. Mm -mm. No, no. Okay. So out of this, okay, out of this three. But here's the thing, and I have this edge. Summer games isn't just about physical abilities. You're gonna be playing video games. You're gonna be doing quizzes. There's trivia involved. I'm good at. I know my those. first. I'm literally. Who are you picking first? Spencer. What's your reasoning for Spencer? Because I trust Spencer. I feel like Spencer and I get each other, and I feel like he's literally down and also so supportive, and I feel like he's good with mind games, games, and the physical part. I could take care of. Interesting. Mm. Okay, um, Trevor. Who do you who do you think you're taking? You know, it's tough. I, I feel like I don't have a, a full grasp of everyone's abilities yet. Yeah. But. I'm thinking off the dome. I'm thinking Marcus. Oh. Marcus, okay. <laughs> we're getting outside of the realm of the cast. <laughs> I said is, anyone. Is this, okay, if, if but Marcus okay, that's actually, okay. My fault. My Marcus, fault. Sorry, Marcus, sorry, sorry, look, sorry. real, real talk. We can't let Marcus compete. He'd be too good. He'd be too uh, good, right? Marcus okay. is, I think, the most athletic person okay. in this building. Okay, I'll cast, cast Angela. Only be, I don't think she's good at anything, but I think that she <laughs> has, she has Whoa. so much willpower to win. Like she is going to uh, work harder. I think actually <laughs> Angela would crush. A lot of it is commitment level. Like who? Yeah, I think just Angela go for? also. Angela's really good at coming up with a plan and executing the plan. Yeah. That's that was mean. I didn't mean it like that. That's what's interesting like is that. so <laughs> much so much of our cast now wasn't in like around for last summer games. Yeah. Um, you know, someone I might pick is Chance. Mm. I think Chance is because you gotta find someone who's well rounded. I where agree. it's like they're gonna be good at all the things. Um, cause like, you know, some of us really good at, at trivia, video games and stuff, but it, when it comes to physical things, sometimes we're not as coordinated or whatever. Um, I, someone who I actually think I look back on, I'm like, they, were, they never were bad. They were good at kind of every single thing was Courtney. Hmm. Courtney yeah. was always like it was. She was just always valuable. She commits. She always brought in something. Yep. Um, but there's a lot of people, and there's, you know, everyone was good at something different. Uh, but I'm so curious. Out of like our newer people, like Tommy Spencer, uh, of people who would be in another one, Angela Chance, Arasha. Oh, Arasha. I'm curious about Arasha. I think Arasha will crush at a lot of mind games. Mind mm -hmm. games. And that's huge. Yeah. And you would be picking, not everyone competes in every single game. You sometimes choose one person out of your team to compete in a thing. Sounds yeah. like Survivor. It's very much like Survivor. But let's be realistic. The three of us are top three. I, for, yeah. for anyone drafting, the three of us, I mean, come on. Yeah. yeah. We can't pick ourselves, but if we no, could. No, but if we could, yeah. I would definitely pick myself. Easy. I don't know. It's hard to pick team names because we don't have a theme. Mm. But he didn't really agree with us when we just said No, that. yeah, yeah. You yeah he guys, didn't really yeah, agree with right. us. Hey, I what don't know. Hey, what gives, big guy? No, no. All right. Stop it. <laughs> Team name? Well, it's not going to be anything that has to do with a penis, okay? <laughs> so you think, okay, yeah. <laughs> Team dick and balls. <laughs> <laughs> Hard on me? Get off. <laughs> what? Um... <laughs> what if we just call our team the Harambes? <laughs> Hey, I had moved on for a moment. <laughs> you brought it back. Now I have to reprocess it, man. God damn, dude. And now I have to literally re reprocess it. Do you remember that movie with Charlize Theron and the big gorilla? The Great uh, Joe Italian or Italian job? Oh, Mighty Joe. No, Young. it's not Italian job. It's definitely the Mighty... Yeah. Yeah. That's all. That was like, uh, that was, that was basically what Harambe was. Well, that's f***ing awful because that gorilla was incredible. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I, I, I guess I'll, I'll yeah. Is, are you calling yours Harambe? Uh, <laughs> no. We're throwing shade off. We're just going to call it Snow Rambes, even if it's summer games. Um, <laughs> but guys, you know, let us know in the comments what your favorite team name from all the previous summer and winter games are. Um, before we wrap up here, I, I was curious, Trevor, do you have any interesting mythical lore? Mm. That you wanted well, can I give my team name first? Because I'm pretty proud. Give, give us that. Yes, give, give us it. that. My team name Christian moms against furries. 
<laughs> oh, good. That's good. That would be my. We could, you know what? Maybe the next summer games we just do a whole Christian theme. Yeah, it's just good Christian fun. Oh, I love that. Our fans will love that. Yeah. Kneel, eat, pray. <laughs> oh, up top. That was awesome. What the hell? Watch out, Julia Bro. Roberts. I'm coming awesome. for your career. Oh God. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> mythical lore. I don't know if this is lore, but. God, ever since this has happened, it is so annoying how many, like, how many times people are like, Trevor from Smosh. Oh, there's Trevor from Smosh. Rhett and Link, I'm going in. They're like, so how's Smosh? What are they saying about us over there? I'm like, we're not just over there talking about you. It's so annoying. I'm like, I don't know. Let's talk about Rhett and Link a little bit. Yeah. Um, that's okay. funny. That's funny. Does Rhett not have a... a like a Western accent. I, 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 whenever I, I thought he did. And then I watched that video and I was like, does he, he it's have so it? subtle. They have, they're from, they're from yeah. South Carolina. Yeah. Well, so actually, it's a very subtle. Southern. I do have thing. lore. I actually just did a live stream where I had to get, there was like, we kind of did the newlywed game, but we were guessing facts about Rhett and Link. Um, Rhett is from a town called in Georgia. He was like born in like oh, Macron, boy. Georgia or something. I don't know. Okay. Um, wow. Yeah, I don't know. Other facts they met when they were in first grade. I didn't know that. I didn't know a lot of things about that. <laughs> it That's was pretty cute. bad. Interesting. Yeah. So, uh, what about what about Trevor specific lore? Like, what was your first shoot? What was your very first day? Oh, my very first day, I was. It was Mythical Kitchen, and Josh was trying to break the world record for the most baby food eaten in a minute. That was literally my did first he day. Uh, yeah, he did, and I remember like he, because the whole thing was like they do try a bunch of different strategies. So I was up doing like HR paperwork up in the loft up there. Yeah. Um, and they they had made a beer bong for baby food. So while my first day, I'm sitting there doing paperwork while Josh is directly below me beer bonging pounds of baby food. I don't know what is um, wrong. With the I wonder girl. what it's like to work a, a, at a at a normal job. Yeah, that's not what it's we, probably more f***ed up. You're probably right. It's probably like, hey, I Carol, bet you, I bet you all the comments. <laughs> I are murdered be like, somebody last I night. All, <laughs> I bet my you, wife. <laughs> every comment is going to be like, trust me, our, our job is worse. my wife got murdered last night. You got those files? <laughs> <laughs> like, trust me. I am so glad um, we're fine. Uh, I'm very one of grateful um, for it. One of the best one of the biggest running jokes about me uh, is that in 2020, during our Zoom holiday party, um, and... I remember just sitting there and being like, I can't do a Zoom holiday party. This Ew. is going to be the worst thing ever. And so I started just drinking. I was drinking before it started and then I was drinking during it because I was like, surely, like, you know, I'm just going to sit here and experience this. They got a magician to do a, a, you know, a performance over the Zoom call, which he was great, he was awesome. Yeah, but you don't know if he's really doing magic. But the problem was is the year before uh, Christmas, I went out to dinner after, um, after the last year's holiday party, I went out with Josh and the kitchen team and went to Red Lobster and I got food poisoning. <laughs> And I was on a flight well, the next yeah. day to Idaho. So I had food poisoning while I was on this plane. And then they started joking like, oh, you pooped your pants on a plane. So then in the Zoom holiday party, Josh made a joke about me pooping my pants on the plane. And I decided to go into a story and I talked for probably, I don't remember how long it was, but it was far longer than any one person should have talked in a Zoom meeting. Because you don't have multiple conversations. It's just me That's talking. True. It's just one person at a time. To everyone at the company telling the entire story of being like, here, no, here's what happened. I went to Red Lobster. I ate scallops. I got food poisoning. I was on the plane. I felt terrible. And I probably went on for like 15, 20 minutes. That's oh, no. awesome. I swear to God. No. And I've been getting crap for it ever since. And that's why you're like, I got to go over to Smosh. Mm -hmm. and yeah. hate me. In the 2000s, episode of the show they made a joke about it that's awesome yeah wow that's your legacy dude that's my legacy yeah i'm just the guy that tells stories for too long did you so. poop on the plane no no i didn't poop on the plane don't tell I almost us the threw story. up so here's what no no no, <laughs> no 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 we're done we're done we're done all right um well if you're listening now you know a good little brief history about smosh pit mm -hmm. um and a little bit about this channel <laughs> Um, and now you know the uh, all the the history of Smosh Summer Games too. There's a lot more specifics. Go back and watch them. And comment cool. below if you want us to do Summer Games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. And head over to Twitter if you want to see some of my Smosh Pits. Am I right? Oh, all right. Don't, Armpit no, content. Don't do, don't do that. Um, R.I.P. Harambe. I knew. R.I.P. I was gonna say that. I was gonna say that. <laughs> what, what gives, big guy? What gives, Come big on, guy? Stop. <laughs> 
What gives? That's, what? Why, that's what I say gives. about the rumbe. What gives? Okay. Uh, <laughs> we'll right. see you next week. Thanks for Get having me. Here. Bye. 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 <sighs> rumbe. So you there. Dude, that is so it, it's, it's got, sad. It, it, you never heard of dicks out for Harambe? <laughs> <laughs>